Hello, friends. Uh, that was the intro for uh, Leon Redbone's tune, Walk and Stick. And uh, I'm going to break down the arrangement, um, which you should have uh, the backing track for. So you can have a listen to that. You can listen to Leon Redbone's original. And I'll just walk you through uh, the arrangement as we're going to play it. Um, it's fairly close to Leon's original, uh, as best as I can get it. But his, his version is full of weird little idiosyncrasies uh, in terms of timing and just, just the way that he plays. So I'll try and break it down as, as simply as I can for you. In essence, it's a, a simple minor key blues style tune. It has a B section, um, has a few extra chords in there. Um, it utilizes a diminished chord run and it utilizes some chord inversions. But apart from that, it's fairly straightforward. So the intro uh, I just played, to start that off, what you need is your middle finger on the note of E on the B string. And you're just going to do this little move. Okay. So it's really just back and forth. E flat. Back to E. Sharp. Or to F. And then back. You can do a little twiddle. So it'll sound like this when you do it properly. Okay. And as soon as you finish that, you then land on an a, a partial A minor chord. Index finger flat over these three strings root note on the ring finger. Something like that. So you've got your thumb and your fingers on the strings here. Something like that. So. Okay, and then you do the riff again. And then this time just play a D minor chord. And this time you move that riff down to the high string, starting on the note of A, and just repeat what you did previously. And then back to A minor, E7, A, B, A. Okay, and at that point, the verse begins with the vocal. Uh, Without my walking stick, I go insane. And the guitar mirrors the vocal here, so we're going to have this little riff on the, the note of E flat on the B string, fourth fret. And what you're going to do is hit that E flat and pinch these two strings, pinch or strum them both together. See the dissonance there? Because you've got the open E string and the note of E flat, and you're going to bend that E flat slightly towards. And that's going to fit with the lyric. Without my walking stick. When you say the word stick, you land on A minor, okay? Without my walking stick. I do a little bass move there. Play the A minor. E, G with the pinky, whilst holding down the A minor chord. And landing on the note of A. Okay? Without my walking stick. I'd go insane. And the guitar for the, the lyric, I'd go insane, is going to be the open E string, the E flat, open E string. I'd go insane. Okay, now that chord is a diminished chord, F sharp diminished. So you've got your pinky on F sharp, skip a string, so you've got a gap there, and then put your other two fingers in the gaps there. So you've got your index finger on the D string, first fret. Middle finger on the note of C, B string, first fret. Ring finger, second fret, note of A, G string. And your pinky takes the F sharp on the high E. Diminished chord. I go insane. And that's the, uh, just the inversions of the same chord. So every four frets, counting the one you're on, one, two, three, four. Now that's the diminished chord. Same notes you're playing here, but they've now turned themselves around into a different order. Okay? Four, so you're at the fourth and fifth frets respectively there. And then up another four to the seventh and eighth frets respectively. Now you don't want to hit the notes in between those positions, so you want to go Keep these two fingers where they are 
and we're going to drop down one place. So you now got your pinky and ring finger spaced as they were, but at the seventh fret. And then with these two fingers, I want you to place the middle finger on the sixth fret D string and your index finger on the note of E. And this is an, it's an E7 inversion, okay? Just like playing E7 here, but we've moved these fingers down to occupy the higher strings and we're ditching that low bass. So it means that our root note is where our index finger is, all right? Now we're gonna do this move. That's also E7, it's just a different position, a different inversion of E7. So the way to achieve this is we've got to keep these two rear fingers locked in position and we're going to switch these around. So let's try switching without moving. You don't need to play with your right hand here. All I want you to do is take these two fingers and swap them around. Okay, so from here to here. And as you can see, you're kind of playing what would normally be a D7 chord, but it's going to end up, boom, there at E7, second fret to the fourth fret. Okay, so let's slide back up to the seventh fret, index finger on the E root. Something like that. So just practice going one, two, three. Backtrack. I go insane. I can't look my best. I feel undressed. See how that fits with the lyrics. Okay. And at that point, I feel undressed without my cane. Without my cane. So open E string, bend at the third fret, release to A minor. Okay. Without my cane, F, E7, A minor. The next verse would follow exactly the same pattern as that one. Okay, so once you've completed two verses using that structure, you then get into the B section. So, if I ever left my house without my walking stick, well, it would be something I could never explain. I don't think that makes me tick on lovers' lane. It might go for naught if I was called without my cane. Okay, so let's run through that B section. We're going to hit a D minor chord. If I ever left my house without my walking stick, and then when you say it would be something, you're up to A minor, it would be something, up to B7, I could never explain, and then you're hitting that E7 inversion you had before, sharpen it, so just move it up one fret, so it becomes F7, and back. Of course there you could easily go from B7 to, to your normal E7 voicing, yeah? But do you see how much uh, much more punchy that, that high string voicing is compared to that? You get this. Now I think on Leon's version he does something like... But the timing is very strange, so for our version what I've chosen to do is just go... I the thing that makes me tick. And when you land on tick, you're back into your third verse, um, which is exactly the same as the previous verses. Okay? So once you've sung that verse and you end up, then there's a little solo break here. And what I do here is, is I'll play the, I'll break the A minor chord into three string groups. So. From the root note of A on your A string, grab the three strings as a group there. So you've got your A string, D string, G string. And then move that three string grouping down to the next. You're just holding your A minor chord there 
and you're just going to move your fingers down to the next three strings. So D string, G string, B string. And then move that idea down to the high strings. No idea what that was. I think we've been attacked by seagulls. Okay, I'll just do that again for you. One, two, three. Kind of a bit of a Beethoven idea. And then into your diminished run. All the way up to the 10th and 11th fret position. So just moving in four fret leaps. One, two, three, four. And then when you get there, I want you to make what I call a long E. So just you flatten your index finger over four strings with the root note on the high E 12th fret. Down to E7, middle finger at the 10th fret. Drop down to your E inversion at the 7th fret. And then play that note again to complete the cycle. Okay? So I'll play that little section for you as I go. song you'll come out and you won't do that <laughs> you'll be here there you go so what you want to do is leave the A minor ring in a few beats before the end of that bar I'll just try to demonstrate should be enough uh, to get you into the tune please listen to the full version that we'll send you um, this video is a little longer than I'd intended there's quite a lot to unpack in this one so I hope that helps um, if anything isn't crystal clear drop me a message on the Facebook group and I'll be happy to talk you through any difficult sections all right all the best with that speak to you soon cheers guys